it'd be cool to add hints to your cards in Anki? Well, there's an easy way, and I'm going to show you in this video. So I've booted up Anki. This is my uh, deck for French. Let's say Indicatif Présent, which is a French tense, study now. So you get the, the, the tense, Indicatif Présent, then you got the translation of the verb. This is in Dutch, tonen laten zien, which means to show something. There's a sentence and you need to uh, fill in the verb. If you don't know the translation anymore, you see this button over here, it's not really a button, but you can click it, it says Montrer l'infinitif, which means show the infinitive. Click, it says Montrer. Montrer is the infinitive for to show in French. So now I know how to uh, conjugate a uh, verb ER on the end. D'abord, je montre les photos à mon grand-père. Show the answer. je montre les photos à mon grand-père. Voilà. Up to you to decide whether you still uh, accept this as a good answer or not. I don't. I wouldn't do so because you didn't know the translation. You had to show the hint, but you still were able to add the translation. Anyway, that's what I mean with hints. So how do you add those hints to cards in Anki? It's not too difficult. You go to the Tools menu, Manage Note Types. We're going to create a new note type just for uh, showing off here in the video. Basic note type, we're gonna call it basic with hint. Okay, there you see the, the note type. First, we're going to change or add a field. You have a front field and a back field. We're going to add a field for a hint. And we're going to reposition it to the second place front, hint, and back. Those are the three fields we need. Close. Now we're going to uh, the to change or to edit the cards for the uh, for the note type basic hint basic card with hint. We've got the front template, the styling and the back template. I edit the codes in my text editor which adds color coding and uh, we're going to uh, copy them over later on. So this is the front template. First we show the, the front field. This is this can be uh, anything. The question. And if there is a hint, we're going to show it below. These tags over here are conditional tags, meaning that if there is no hint, none of this code inside will be shown whatsoever. If you leave the hint field empty, no worries. If there is a hint, however, this code is going to get shown. It's two parts. This is basic HTML, it's just a diff with, uh, call, with an ID called hint, and then two parts in it, the trigger and the payload. Trigger is simply a text click to show hint, and the payload is the actual hint. This is an Anki field for the contents of the hint. Not, uh, nothing very special going on over there. But then you have the little JavaScript, and this is where the magic happens. It's two lines, that's all it takes. First, we're going to uh, select the hint in the document, document.getElementById hint. This selects this part of the document. And by adding an event listener to it, JavaScript function, um, we say whenever we click the hint field, we're going to set it its class attribute to shown instead of hidden. So whenever we click the hint field, this class, hidden, will change to shown. All that's left to do then is take care of the styling. These are some general uh, styles for the card. And these are our styles related to the hint. We're adding a background color and a little border, border radius, some cosme cosmetic, uh, small cosmetic changes. By default, the hint is hidden, hidden, and whenever we hover over it with our mouse, we're going to change the background color. We're going to change the cursor of the mouse to this hand symbol, just to make extra clear it can be clicked. By default, when it's hidden, the payload, the actual hint is not shown. We set display to none. These styles below, 
these three lines. These are for when the hint is shown. Hint with the class of shown. In that case, we change the background color. But most important, the most important uh, part takes place over here. We set the trigger to display none. This is the text click to show hint. Once we've clicked the hint, we don't need to show this text anymore. But the payload, which was hidden over here by default, is now set to display block. This part will be shown. That's all it takes, really. And this is our back template. Show the front. If there is a hint, we show the front, the, the hint on the back again, and then the actual answer. Okay, now it's just a matter of copying those styles over to Anki, our front template, our styling. Oops, and there we go. And finally, our back template. And as you can see in the preview on the right side over here, we get the front field with the question. Then we have our hint trigger with the hover effect. And as soon as we click it, the hint is shown and it may help you to uh, find the answer for the card. That's all it takes for our card, so we're going to close this. We are done with our node type, with the fields and the cards, all done. I'm going to close the node types, don't need this anymore. Let's uh, just add the demo deck. Demo deck. Okay. I'm going to add a card, whoops, there we go, basic card with hint, uh, for example our question could be what is the capital of Belgium and the answer is Brussels as you know probably. I'm going to add this card, I've not added a hint yet, so if you study now what's the capital of Belgium, show answer Brussels, this is a Default card, as you can see, if you don't add a hint, um, nothing special is shown. If we change this card, uh, study now, edit over here, edit this card, and as a hint, we could say it starts with a B. Okay, close. Now the card shows a hint, what's the capital of Belgium. If we know already, we don't have to click, but if we want a hint, we can just click over here. It starts with a B. Oh yes, Brussels, show answer, Brussels, okay. Voila, that's all it takes, adding hints to cards in Anki. Hope you find this useful. Bye-bye.